The breakthrough came in 1989 when Michael Horton and colleagues working at Chiron Corporation used the combination of molecular biology and immunology based techniques to clone the virus. That this would work was not obvious as it depended on two assumptions. First, that genetic material would be present in a collection of DNA se sequences isolated from hepatitis infected animal. And second, that serum from a human with this form of hepatitis contained antibodies that were specific for the virus and that could be used as a molecular hook in the screen. Starting with the blood from an infected animal, uh, the team in introduced DNA fragments into bacteria and where each bacteria expressed an individual protein fragment. By screening with the antibodies, they could isolate one positive clone. This was a high-risk project, but the positive clone turned out to encode for a sequence that resembled sequences of a virus family called flaviviruses. They named the virus the hepatitis C virus. This was the first time these types of molecular-based approaches were used to identify a novel virus. The Horton Group immediately took advantage of this knowledge and started to work on establishing a blood test to identify hepatitis C-infected blood. This was urgently needed, and once they had developed the test, they evaluated it blindly on Ultra's serum collection from the NIH blood bank. This successfully identified all the samples that were suspected to be contaminated, but none of the control samples. The availability of a test that showed this kind of high specificity and sensitivity was a major step forward. Soon, blood supplies around the world could be screened. And this immediately led to a dramatic decrease in the number of post-transfusion cases of hepatitis. <clears throat> 